Some interesting new research coming out of WSU Spokane campus that could one day lead to safer travel. Researchers with the Sleep and Performance Research Center have looked at fatigue in pilots making several flights a day. KXY4's John Hendricks working for you. John, this time it sounds like the study, uh, is, this is the first time it's been done. Researchers say that they wanted to figure out if taking off and landing for regional pilots made them tired. Now what they found out is pretty interesting. Each day, thousands of people take to the nation's skies, putting their trust in the pilots taking them to their destination. For years, pilot fatigue has been a high priority for the National Transportation Safety Board. If you can measure it, then it means you can also possibly do something about it. And then the question is, what would you do about it? How would you go about that? A new study by the WSU Sleep and Performance Research Center is shedding light on what's causing that tiredness for regional airline pilots. We found that there is a small effect of multiple takeoffs and landings. You can measure it. We measured it very precisely. Researchers at WSU and the Regional Airline Association conducted this study, a first of its kind. There's no science that says, that asks the question, does it actually matter in terms of how fatigued you get, whether you do multiple trips on a given day. They put 24 active duty commercial airline pilots in a simulator. Some flew from Miami to Seattle, one long trip on their shift. Others flew five shorter trips around Texas and Arkansas. Researchers trying to make the study as real as possible. We had the pilots uh, walk around the simulator so to inspect the simulator as they would normally inspect the plane before they fly. We had them do all the paperwork. We had actual weather reports for the flights that they did. WSU says this study opens new fields of research in looking at how our jobs affect our alertness around the clock in safety critical environments. Researchers say this study did not focus on safety, but more on fatigue and what causes pilots to become tired. Reporting from Spokane International, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.